morning class. Today's lecture will discuss integration with partial fraction decomposition. Please like, comment, subscribe, and donate on the Cash App with the dollar sign up front, MLBFAN. Here we see the integration of 7x minus 23 divided by x minus 2 times x minus 5 dx. First, we have to find the restrictions in the denominator and substitute back into the function by doing a times a factor plus b times a factor, and then the next stage will be the integration, in which is the calculus portion. So let's get started. So x minus 2 is equal to 0, and x minus 5 is equal to 0. So with the first equation, we want to add 2 to both sides, and x is equal to 2 and x minus 5 is equal to 0. We want to add 5 to both sides of the equation, and so x is equal to 5. So the two restrictions where the zeros would, would cause the restrictions in the denominator, in which you can't divide by 0, are 2 and 5. Therefore, we need to set the numerator equal to the denominator with the two restriction values substituted in for x. So 7x minus 23 is equal to a times x minus 2 plus b times x minus 5. So let's substitute 2 first into the equation. So 7 times 2 minus 23 is equal to a times 2 minus 2 plus b times 2 minus 5. 7 times 2 is 14. Minus 23 is equal to a times 0. I guess 2 minus 2 is 0, plus b times negative 3. So 14 minus 23 is negative 9 is equal to a times 0, which is 0, plus b times negative 3, in which we'll break down to minus 3b. And therefore, negative 9 is equal to 0 minus 3b, which is negative 3b, and then divide both sides by negative 3. And b is equal to 3. Please let that marinate there. And now moving to the next page. So, we have to set up the equation again. 7x minus 23 is equal to a times x minus 2 plus b times x minus 5. Now let's substitute the restriction value of 5 into the equation. So it's going to be 7 times 5 minus 23 
is equal to a times 5 minus 2 plus b times 5 minus 5. So 7 times 5 is 35 minus 23 is equal to a times 3 because 5 minus 2 is 3 plus b times 5 minus 5 It breaks down to 0, so b times 0. And then 35 minus 23 is 12, equals to a times 3, which is 3a, plus b times 0 is 0, so plus 0. So 12 is equal to 3a plus 0, which breaks down to 3a. Then divide both sides of the equation by 3, and a is going to equal 4. So, the partial fraction decomposition will break down to 4 over x minus 5 plus 3 over x minus 2. And let's prove that these both balance out 4 over x minus 5 plus 3 divided by x minus 2. When we break out the calculator, let's clear that. So let's look at the calculator for a second here. So we put parentheses around the original function, 7x Okay, parentheses, 7x minus 23 divided by, double parentheses, x minus 2, close parentheses, times x minus 5, double parentheses. And the calculator is going to give it some type of value. Uh, let's bring it closer so we can see it there. And let's look at our statement here of 4 divided by x minus 5 plus 3 divided by x minus 2. So 4 divided by, so x minus 5 plus 3 divided by x minus 2. And if we get that same calculator based value on the right hand side if they're equal then that means we have an equal statement or e equivalent statement and as we see we get the same calculator based value so 7x minus 23 divided by x minus 2 times x minus 5 is equivalent to 4 divided by x minus 5 plus 3 divided by x minus 2 so now let's integrate the function, which is the calculus-based part. So now we can begin the integration. So now we're going to integrate 4 divided by x minus 5 plus... 3 divided by x minus 2. And put dx there. So this is going to equate to 4 times the natural log of x minus 5. to be absolute value bars there. Plus
plus three times the natural log of the absolute value bars of x minus two. And then plus c, because this is an indefinite integral that, we're, that we integrated here, so plus a constant. If you need math help, text 559-744-3169 for services. Please donate on the cash app. The cash app here with the dollar sign up front MLB FA. In. Thank you so much, and let's learn math together.